Dr. Tiffany Heaven. Welcome to Creosote in Heaven. We're so sorry for your pain. Dr. Creosote will be along any minute. Have a seat. Where's your wife? She should be here by now. I'm surprised. She's usually Is that a nugget? What? A nugget. A little something she does that just gets on your nerves. Well, she's usually on time. Use the pataka. What? Here. Whenever we encounter the nuggies of life, it's best to handle them in a violent and aggressive manner. Here. Hit this pillow and say, damn you! Uh, what's your wife's name? Jadine. Uh, Jadine. Damn you, Jadine! Say. Look, I don't really. Of course you don't, but you do. Inside you do wants to say it. That's the secret to a happy, healthy, mature relationship. <laughs> Confront the nuggies and slaughter them. Now, hit this pillow and say, damn you, Jadine! Look, this really wasn't my idea. I so she came. made you come see us. Is that what you're trying to say? Well, not exactly made. Feeling a little castrated, aren't you, Mark? Go with it. <laughs> Let it out. Hit this pillow and say, I do have balls. <laughs> Hit the pillow. Come on. You want to save this marriage, don't you? Hit the pillow. Look. I... You're afraid, is that it? I knew it. You're a coward. At bottom, you're nothing but a yellow belly, castrated coward. Why don't we wait until J.D. comes? Try this or not? You're afraid, right? Uh, You're afraid, Mark? Is that it? Hit this pillow. Show me you have balls. Hit this pillow and say, Damn you, Tiffany. Uh, say it. Damn you, Tiffany. Damn you, Tiffany. Damn you, Jadine. Damn you, Jadine. <laughs> Damn you, Jadine. That's it. Damn you, Jadine. That's it. Oh, that's wonderful. Damn you. you do have balls. <laughs> you do have balls. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn you, JD. Damn you, JD. Damn you, JD. Damn you, JD. <laughs> relationship like this too. My first husband chained me to the kitchen stove. Can you believe that? I thought it was normal. I wrote my dissertation on the open oven door. I had a degree in marital counseling and my own marriage was a sham. I would have committed suicide if the stove had been gas. I tried to stick my head in the microwave but the chicken wouldn't reach. But then I met Roger and I realized not all men were like that Neanderthal Hitler I lived with. Just some of them. But you, Mark, can't be helped. This relationship must never be saved. Men like you should go to jail for what you do to women. You disgust me. Now get out of here. Get the hell out of here before you make me vomit. Please, I... Get out! Get out! Sorry I'm late. I'm Dr. Roger Creosote. Welcome to Creosote in Heaven. He's sick, Roger. Roger sorry. Sick, sick, sick. I see you've met Tiffany. Get him out of here. And this must be your wife. Roger? Roger, did you hear me? Roger? Roger, what is this? What is she doing? I don't know. Of course you know. I've been waiting for months to talk to you. Why won't you answer my calls? Why won't you return my letters? I can't live another day without you. I only married him because I thought he had your eyes. And on our wedding night, 
He took them out. They were colored contact lenses. He doesn't make love the way that you do. He refuses to do it in the sink. He says the spigot hurts his back. <laughs> do you know this woman? Just an old acquaintance, dear. Roger, I love you. Oh, oh my God! Why Roger, how could you deceive me like this? Honestly, Tiffany, <laughs> you set this whole thing up, didn't you? You made the appointment. You did this just to humiliate me? Look, I had no idea. Oh my God! Throw her out! Kick her out! She's hurting, Tiffany. She'll be hurting even more when I throw with her. No. <laughs> you Tiffany, Tiffany, be reasonable. She's never done anything to hurt you. She's the one suffering. Look. I loved her for a time, and, and then I met you. We all know that love is a momentary and ephemeral thing. Love changes. She's got to learn that, and you do too. What? What do you mean? What are you trying to say? Love is a momentary thing. It blows here, and it blows there. So you don't love me anymore. Is that what you're saying? You don't love me? Well, I wouldn't put it quite like that. Oh, my God! I don't believe this! I don't believe this! I'm so sorry, Tiffany. I'm so sorry for your pain. I'll show you pain. Yeah! <laughs> Great feeling, aren't you? Well done. And I'm not. I look at a man like this and I'm consumed with jealousy. I could hate you. I could murder you. I could tear you into little pieces and feed you to the dogs. <laughs> but you know something else? I could also love you. I know I just said I don't love anyone, but if I could love anyone, I could love you. Yes! Oh, yes! I love you. Bye, Dad. <laughs> 